Hello everyone, I'm Shiki, and this is Space Lines from the Four Out Flight School. This is a demo version of the game, and it's coming out in, I think, March. It's developed by Coffee Nuts, which is the first time I'm hearing of this developer. Now, I don't know anything about this game, except that it's about space, and I like space games. So I'm going to just try the game. Alright. Where's my cursor? Oh. You don't use a cursor? Maybe I should use my controller for this? Let me get my controller first. Ah, oh no. Okay. Control doesn't work. Settings. There's no controller option. So how am I supposed to play? Oh, I can use WASD to navigate. Alright, let's just try a new game. So, is the whole control using keyboard? Press start. Wait, it says I can use my controller for this. Done. Okay. Alright, so this is me. Hello. Greetings, applicant. Congratulations. You are one of the lucky few who have been selected by our company's recruitment system for having the remarkable qualities. Low risk of liability. Not likely to sue. Desperate for employment. Wow, what a champ. Um, yeah. It kind of perfectly describes me. Before we start, I should tell you, this tutorial is single player only. After we're done, other local players may will be able to join. Okay. You are about to embark on the glamorous world of passenger space flight. But before you get to fly a real space liner and see the universe, you must first go through our company's rated training procedures, the whole 15 minutes of it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Autonomous Recruit Trainer and Highly Unaggressive Robot, or Arthur9001. It's over 9000! Get it? No? Okay. Operating a vessel like this is no trivial task, so I will be in full control of the ship while I guide you through the training steps. Also, I can assure you that, while I am quite capable of doing so, I will not attempt to murder you, unlike former models of the 9000 series. Wait, 9000 series, and you're 9001, so there is only one model prior to you? Seems like a- seems a bit suspicious, but okay. Shall we start? First, it is the company policy that I check if you are indeed a sentient life form, as you are indicated on your resume. If you can understand me, please indicate. Move around. Okay. Um, I will take that as a yes. Now I need to assess your motor skills. I'll be applying the directionally activated nimbleness and cadence examination. The dance. Yeah, or dance for sure. Think you can do that? Dance. What? Play. Uh, okay. Nice moves, applicant. Now let's start talking about your ship systems. That dance was like a rhythm game without rhythm or music. Enabling power system. That's a huge battery. This is your ship's power system, responsible for energizing all other systems. As you can see, currently your propulsion, propul prop propulsion system is not turned on. In order to start the engines, interact with the reactor. This. While interacting with the power system, you can manage which of your ship's systems are turned on. You can also see how many power slots each system can consume. Now turn on the propulsion, prop, 
propulsion systems. Turn on. Good work, applicant. Now your ship is moving. Please. Running fuel tank diagnostic. This is your fuel gauge. It displays how much propellant your engines still have left. Under no circumstances should you let your fuel run out in the middle of a flight. Okay, can we replenish our fuel? Enabling additional system. Oh. Whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. That looks like a gumball machine. That machine is your gravity generator, but it seems to have short-circuited. I would fix it myself, but for some reason, the company decided not to give my model arms capable of holding heavy blunt objects. Enabling maintenance system. Well, floating. Swimming. That is our standard issue advanced spacecraft maintenance system. We can use it to fix the gravity generator. First, grab the wrench. Alright. Now use it to repair the gravity system. I mean, smack it. Smack. Oh. You mean actually fix it. Like, give it a twist and stuff. Good work, applicant. This is a good time to let you know that if you were to land on your head while reactivating gravity, you should try to remain conscious long enough to sign one of our workplace injury liability waivers, which can be quickly found in all overhead compartments. With that out of the way, now you need to be able to steer this vessel. I need to steer? Enabling piloting system. This is your piloting system. Although I am much more qualified to do it, company policy insists only biological employees can operate the helm. So have a go. Alright, I'll put away. Let's see if my driving license still works here. Here. Oh, that's really... Nice work, applicant. According to company policy, that should be enough flying to certify you as a pilot. Congratulations. That was real easy. I could be a pilot even in my sleep. Let's continue to the next lesson. Leave. Enabling navigation system. I'm in the map. Or a radar. This is your radar screen. It will passively detect and identify nearby objects in space. As a matter of fact, there seems to be an object coming right at us. An asteroid. Well, that was unfortunate. Running ship diagnostics. It seems that the reactor is broken and the ship has lost power. Good thing my internal battery makes it impossible to shut me off. Checking external damage. This is your hull integrity gauge. Unless you intend to explosively disassemble this vessel, the company recommends keeping this at maximum. It seems that the asteroid collision has damaged our hull. This this is bad news for my evaluation. We were about to conclude the training, but I'm afraid I can't let you do that, applicant. You have to help me fix it. Quickly, let's first try let's first pick the reactor. Pick up. Repair. We need power after all. Nice work. Now, now unfortunately, we can't repair the hull from the inside, so we are going to need to find a service station. For that, we must use the radar's long range scope. Fan radar. What? I'm fixing it. Do, do I need to put it down first? Fan radar. While operating the radar, you can point and fire its long range signal. Use it to identify distant ob objects. Can't find anything. Oh, fire signal. Good, now look for a nearby service station. Is that it? There it is. Now you know how to find one. 
Now, in order to dock with a station, you must approach it and establish communications. Alright then. Can I... Here? Enabling communication system. Okay. Have a call. This is your communication system. You can use it to dock with nearby stations. Let's test it out. Find and approach a service station. Find station. Is there another one here? Okay, another one there. Uh, yeah, do it. Can I boost? I can't, I guess. Dock. Nice work. Now let's repair this damage. Deploying company funds. Cash. Okay. Now contact them and hire the whole repair service. Answer. Hall. Repair hall. Okay, excellent work applicant. Now I won't be decommissioned for damage to company property. Now to your final task. We must return to home base. I have added the destination marker to your radar screen. Expand in order to see it. Expand radar. There it is. Now all you have to do is follow the direction and arrive in one piece. Alright. Over right here. One hundred aeronautical units away is that what AU means what's this okay we got to home base with a couple of clearly very very distressed and struggling race cars congratulations applicant this concludes your training making you a proud new member of our spaceline crew Oh, just one last thing. Please don't mention our little asteroid situation to anybody. We wouldn't want other potentially worse accidents. Are you threatening me? Are we understood, applicant? Alrighty then. Welcome aboard. Ultra wormhole space flight. Welcome back. Now that you've learned the basics, it's time for you to for your final test. Flying real passengers. There's a route from here to our company HQ at the end of the Zeta sector, which shouldn't be a challenge for a train employee like yourself. At least, I hope so. I've made some changes to the training ship. It should be good enough for the task. All you have to do is embark. Oh, and now all the other local players can join your game too. Now go make us proud. Godspeed. Okay, so I can play if I have a friend with me. Which I don't have any currently. Yes, withdraw. Withdraw. Oh, I don't have money. Okay. Hello. Oh, I can change characters. Uh, it, uh, I'll just play this one. Customize space line. Generate name. Oh, I can change the name. Oh, but it's a random generator. I can't choose a name for myself. Okay, I guess that's to prevent players from inputting unsavory names uh transformal aerospace uber zero tax space lines budget from in aerospace that seems like a good one a budget space liner where your life is on the line okay stargazer star dog eagle eye rocket fuel rocket fuel so uh budget from in aerospace space liner with an air uh, rocket 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 fuel as the logo seems like very safe change colors cappuccino space liner business pink 
Alright. Funky. Oh, tutorial, no. Bark. If the bathroom is dirty, passengers might start getting sick. There's a bathroom in this game. Okay, this is your star map where you can plot a course to your destination. You can see how far you are from it, as well as irrelevant information about the next connection. If you lose your ship somehow, you can send a rescue beam and return you back to base. But your ship and all the money you are carrying will be completely lost. That is, unless you can find a Stonks banking and insurance agency. Stonks. Yeah. There you will be able to insure your ship, as well as safely deposit your earnings in case something bad happened. This is what a bank agency looks like, so keep an eye out for them. Okay, so... Turquoise. Green. Or maybe blue, I can't tell. Alright, safe travels, brave steward. Famine RC. 370 sec 376 AU. Very easy. Fly details, 3 passengers. No, nothing on the stop. Weather report, unknown. Description, a modest station overlooking planet Famine RC. Confirm. Let's go. Have a safe trip. Okay, we have three passengers. It seems that your passengers are getting hungry. You can feed them by cooking the meal packets from your catering system. Oh, what? Okay, seems like you have a passenger on board. Try to keep cool. Passengers are the bread and butter of what we do. They're what keeps us in business, even though they can, be can get a bit demandy. This is where you can see a passenger's various needs. If it's blue, it's not bothering them yet. If it's orange, it will start affecting their evaluation of our company. If it's red, they need your immediate attention or else something bad might happen. Just remember, the customer is always right. Well, except when they try to sue us. Then they're certainly wrong. Okay, hungry. How do I cook? Pick up? What is... How do I cook? Is this? Or do I just give it to him? Feed. Oh, okay. And then you, the other one. Yes. And then the funky horned one. Y'all just hungry. Can I run out of food? Wait. Oh, you're not hungry. Hold up. Your passengers are requesting some form of in-flight entertainment. If you have no entertainment system, you could try to charm them with those dance moves you got. Um. Okay. Uh. Dance. Dance. No, do I have to dance in front of them? Okay. Dancing. Alright, you wanna dance too? Oop. Okay, that's- is that enough? Now you need food. I, I do think we can run out of food. I think I'll give them too much food. Okay, um, food again. Three. Okay. Fuel is starting to run low, I guess. I just leave you for a bit or do I have to immediately cater to your needs I guess I'll just yep oh you need a dance
Oh, I, I can move you. Okay, then. Alright, this way I get to do it for everyone. Wait, why is the middle one in, in love? What's it doing? You are running out of fuel. You must find a refueling station immediately. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's... Was that a thing? Wait a minute. I'm going the wrong way. Have I been going the wrong way all this time? Wow. I have been going the wrong way all this time. Or maybe I passed over it. I forgot to do it. Oh no. Can I restart? Oh no. Oh no. That's that's a big no-no. Alright, dance. Oh no. Dance. Dance. Alright, now food. We're running out of food. I see you've used all meal packets from your carrying rack. In order to restock, you'll need to arrive at the next connection. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, let's just... There. It's really close. Sorry, sir. I cannot give you any more food. We've run out of food. Okay, you're at red. Just a little more and we'll arrive. Yep, just in time. I, th I think. Standard economy. Next. Schedule delayed. Next. Well, that was a pretty bad maiden flight. Congratulations, you've just reached your first connection spaceport. This is where your game says you can now relax a bit, run some maintenance procedures, or go ahead and embark the next route. Can I talk to you? Oh, I can I can lift you up. Nice row. No, okay. Embark. What do you mean maintenance? I can't do anything. Guess I'll embark. Okay, wrong way. Oh, I can't go back. Okay, then next stop, build to Nexus 11. 434 AU. A bit far, farther, further. I don't know. Okay. Modules, upgrade store, refueling station, and whatever that is on the bottom left of the stop sign. And weather report, asteroid. Okay. Embark. How do I refuel though? Wait, do I start with more fuel or? Oh no, that's. Mmm. That's barely enough fuel. I'm gonna run out. I sure I'm going to run out. I'm just going to head straight for it. Well, good thing we got more food. Let's move you to the back. Well, we're out of fuel. Oh, there's something here. Maybe that's a refueling station. Ah, there it is, a refueling station. Yep, yep. If we can just reach there. Oh no, ah. Yeah. Passenger ship, fuel tank runs dry. Branded alien. Yeah, no insurance. Back to flight school. So it seems you've had a bit of trouble there. We're sending a rescue beam to return you home. Unfortunately, you will lose all the money you are carrying. Also, since the ship is uninsured, it is lost. See you back at base. So, how do I restart my career? If I can do that. Can I even do that? Welcome back. Well, that was a rough one. 
That poor ship wasn't insured, so I had to get another one of our school's training ships for you. Please try not to lose this one. Oh, now we're, we we're wearing different uniforms. A pink one. Okay, embark. Let's try that again. And this time, not overshoot the destination by a... Well, not a mile. It's more than a mile. At least 200 AUs last time. Okay, embark. Grogor 8. Oh, it's randomly generated, I guess. But this time, it's... It kind of fits. The uniform is pink and my my ship's logo is pink. Oh, there are no seats. Okay, um, um, you, you need entertainment. Okay, I'll dance for you. Is that enough? What is this? What is this thing? Cook. Oh, I have to cook it. Okay. Which one of you needs food? Both of you. You need... Oh. You don't need food, you need entertainment. Okay. Oh, it's almost burned. Okay, doing good, doing good. Hold up. Yeah, almost forgot again. There we go. That's the station. Okay, you, you need to dance. There we go. Need food. And there we go, it's really quick. Way quicker than last time when we overshot the station by over 200 AUs. On time, there you go. Next. Money spent, zero. Collisions, zero. Inspection. There's an inspection by what, the space police. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? No. I've never really been involved with the police much. I don't, I, I don't know. Is getting inspected by a police a good thing or a bad thing? All right. Let's have another go at this one. So I see a refueling station, and then something that looks like a a, a fiery planet with a party hat. I can't really tell what that is. Okay, so from the get-go, someone needs food. Let's check our bearing. I'll just head on over. An ice cream. Look, an ice cream. Oh no, these, these two passengers are really alike. They look almost the same, only differentiated by their shirt. That's gonna be a problem. Can't really tell them apart. But I guess their skin tone is a bit different. Oh no, oh no. Um, uh, steering needs fixing. Okay, oh, before we arrive, I'm going to... Um, um... So, turn off that one. Turn off the food. And that on. Docking, docking, docking. Ah! You're in the way. Alright, turn around. We need to refuel. Oh, you need. Hold up, hold up. Ah! Get out the way, dock. And sir. You will. And just full tank. Confirm. Okay, um, what else do you need? Uh, turn that off. Turn that on. You need entertainment. Food. Can I just give you this? 
I'll just give you two. Uh, I don't know over to the station, and there we go. What is that? A rocket crashed into a moon? A tent in it? Is that supposed to be some, some sort of secret that I can discover? Hmm. Alright, maybe next time I'll... I'll try to, to have a stop. It's kind of difficult managing this whole spaceship on my own. Oh, it looks like this spaceport has a branch of Droidly's department store. You should definitely check it for a ship upgrade. Also say Droidly, I said... 01001000011010101. Alright, I'm going to run that in a binary translator. Real quick. Uh, I'm back. So apparently says hi. Just literally H and I. So hi. How y'all doing? I hope you're doing good. Moving on. Now, oh, okay, that's all you have to say. Check the store. Droidly. Can I not talk to you? Okay. Shop. Improved reactor. So just $150. I don't have $150. Sindlog standard seats $200. Our previous ship had six of them. Can I sell you? Okay. Apparently not. And standard toilet. Two hundred dollars. Mm, we don't have enough. Can I not talk to Droidly? Is this not you? Am I not supposed to say hi to you? Or rather, uh, zero one zero zero one zero 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 one one zero one zero zero one. Embark to the next stop or next connection, I guess. next connection oh this one has a that doesn't look like a like a bank no there's stonks banking and insurance all right the stops here are one of those planet with a rocket in it uh, a soap a toilet a, a space toilet all right let's embark Maybe one of the passengers might need to have a go at the toilet. Or what do you call it? Let's put that over there. Where is it? What's this? I noticed your passengers want to use the restroom, but there is no sanitation system installed in the ship. This can be quite uncomfortable to organic life forms, I'm told. Yes. While you haven't got that amenity installed, I advise you to at least look for a place for them to, you know, do their business. Is that... No, that seems like an asteroid. It's also an asteroid. And one of you needs toilets. I don't see anything though. It's gonna have to grit your teeth and bear with it. Now two of you needs toilets. Now, ah... Uh, I really have to save up money for a toilet at least. At least one toilet. That would do very well, not very good. Just keep these passengers from wetting themselves. Ooh, one minute and 47 seconds. If you can just hold on for that long, I would be very grateful. Yes, we're very close. Yes. There are two question marks near it. Oh, those are asteroids. Can I, can I maneuver around it? Oh, oh, okay. I was really close. I'm glad that got sorted with. Economy plus. Money earned, money spent. 
No stop. I just you can take a piss at the station, alright? Alright. Power station six. Let's check what's at the whatever this is. The shop. What are you? Cleaner service. No. Oh, it's for when yeah, maybe one of the passengers has spoiled themselves. Systems fall. No need. Fuel. Oh, here it is. I can refuel. I'll just uh, add a bit. Sixteen. Wow, that was. That thing wasn't connected to the ship. Okay, I guess as long as it refueled. On to the next station. Or connection. I keep forgetting about it. Why am I always facing up? There we go. Tau Nexus D. Difficulty tree clear. Okay. And there's a face raft looking thing. Like a it's like one of one of those emergency rafts you make with just some boards, I mean uh, wooden wood, wooden planks and a sail. Got a bank in it. Embark. Yes. I need to save up money so I can buy a toilet. Okay, one of you is already hungry immediately. And toilet. Is there a toilet somewhere? No, those are asteroids. How about this one? That's a toilet. Okay. We'll stop by there. I'll turn off this. Turn on that on. So. Okay, dock. And the toilet. Who needs to take a piss? Go on ahead. Answer the call. Go on, piss. Alright, are we good to go? We'll check that. Oh, stranded people. No. Face chip stop. Oh, I can take extra passengers. That's nice, I guess. Refueling station. I'll take the fuel. Uh, oh no, ah. I was about to refuel. Economy plus. Next. No collisions. To... To... Stop. Spaceship stops. Man, all these... Stop based stuff is really hard to say. Oh, this spaceport has a bank agency. If you have the funds for it, I'd definitely consider buy buying ship insurance. If you don't, at least consider depositing some of your earnings. Prevents losing your ship and systems in case of accident. I guess I'll insure it. Wrong. What to do? Is it scanning the ship? Okay. I'm running low on fuel, but I can't really refuel around here. Deposit. I'll deposit exactly enough money left for me to buy a toilet on the next stop. If I come across one. Oh, on the way there, there's a lot of asteroids, it seems like. Lambda Central 12, 782 AU, quick here. But there are, uh, stops, different kind of stops here. Service station upgrade store, okay, that's nice. That's exactly what I need, a toilet. And a refueling station somewhere in space. Alright, remember, first first things first, is checking our bearing. Where do we need to go? That way. What's this? Asteroids. Oh, that's a lot of asteroids. Oh, okay. 
a fueling station over here. We need fuel. And entertainment. Which one of you needs entertainment? Okay. And a toilet. Oh, also, uh, reroute systems. Okay, that's still over there. Yeah, ready to dock. Something over there. Bunch of asteroids. I'll head on right between them. Oh no, these customers. No, passengers need to piss. However, I don't see any toilet. Oh, what about that one? Ah, toilet. There we go. Going for a stop at the toilet. We need to be ready to piss. Alright. Is it not? Okay, docking. Everyone get ready for the toilet. Oh, I can't pick that up. Can't do anything. Pick. Very well. And we've arrived safely. Good job, me. Yeah, I was the sole crew of that ship. Can I even be called a crew if it's only me? But playing this online or just multiplayer with friends would be... I don't know, I can't really imagine it. It's, well, it's taking care of these people and I guess it would be easier to do. Or maybe it would be harder, like we could be arguing between each other. And a toilet. Bye. Oh, I can't really choose where I put it. Okay. That's all the money I have upgrades. Maybe... What's this one? Oh, okay, refueling. Right. 64. Uh, okay. Fill it up to 86%. Should be enough for the next one. I think. Ooh, 999 AU. Harder. I like how the difficulty just says harder. Okay, it's got almost all the stops except for that one. What is that? It looks like a, a castle or a circus. Is it for entertainment? Like if, we stop, if we stop there, then the, the passengers can get extra entertainment, maybe. Okay, first order of business, it's our bearings. Where do we need to go? Straight that way. You need food already? What? Why do I fall down? Oh, I trip. Anything over here? No, it's just asteroids. Just asteroids. Toilet. Hello, Tiki here. So I'm not very smart. I just bought that toilet and immediately forgot about it. So I was still searching for space toilets like an idiot, leaving my passengers suffering in front of the unpowered toilet stall. And a uh, spaceship stop. So we can pick up people on the way. Let's pick up some people and then we'll have a stop at the toilet. A space toilet. Alright, get in. Now we'll go to the space toilet. It's interesting how they're just right next to each other. Okay, everyone who needs... Wow, I can see you through the roof. Talk about no privacy. I guess that's the shaders getting booked. Refuel up to... 
80% again. Boop, 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 boop. 86%. Confirm. No. We don't need to fix the ship, so I'll just head straight to the base station. Null feed. Which one are you? This one? Oh, that one. Oh no. Oh, well. Wait a minute. Are those people on the bottom? Are those my passengers? Did they get left behind? What? Is that a bug? Can you see them just like floating in space on the bottom of the screen? Oh, that's sad. I mean, um, I hope that's a bug. Because if not, that's... Wow. They're just left stranded in space. Right outside the space station. And I even saw one going straight into the planet. Ooh. Imagine becoming a meteor. I'm going to head on right to ooh, 1124. I'm glad I refueled to 100% because apparently once I decided to embark to the next station, I can't like this. Oh, I may not want to embark right now. I want to refuel my fuel first. Man, I suck at English. So basically, when I'm already in this screen, I can't go back here. Or maybe I can. Yeah, no, I can't go back. So I'm stuck. Well, I'm not exactly stuck. I can go to the next station, but... Well, that's that's the only choice I have. Can't get back to whatever station I, I'm already on. Okay, five passengers, and immediately one of you needs to go to the toilet. And that's an asteroid, it's not a toilet. Tough luck, buddy. Okay, let's make sure we're not- oh. It's broken. Oh no, gravity. I need to fix the gravity machine. There we go. Oh no. Asteroid. Almost hit it. Anything need fixing? You? No. Right. On to the, the thing. The, the, the space station. I feel like I call everything a space station. Business class. Oh, is my reputation like kept uh, between travels? So the more I travel, the higher my reputation goes. Or maybe if one of them has a bad review, it would lower the reputation. Like if if someone misses the spaceship, maybe. I don't know. I've never had anyone piss on my spaceship before. That'd be a new experience, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? No? Okay. We'll just... Right. Full, full, full tank. Is there no fuel tank upgrade option? Embark. On to the next flight. Oh wow, it's been an hour already. Alright, I'll just... Well, it's a demo, so I, I guess I can go on to the latest uh, level. Next up, Alpha Post X 1124 AU. Other report, Asteroid. Of course it's Asteroid. But maybe just be because it's just a demo, so it is there are only Asteroids. Maybe in the full game there will be... Um, I don't know, like space clouds, a wormhole, black holes, white holes. 
I don't know, this isn't uh, Outer World. I mean, Outer Wild. Okay, passengers are easily identifiable, so I don't mix them up. Need food. Here you go. Air car bearings. Asteroids, two on the way. Up, up. Wait, what cleaner? No. Oh, that's the wrong station. Okay. All right. Food. Which one of you? You. Yes. I wasn't going here. I was going here to the other one. I was picking up people. All right. Monster, get in. Now I need to fix whatever was barking you. And then you, you, you. Oh, everything's broken. Except for this, I guess. All right. Next up more branded people all right who needs entertainment entertainment who needs entertainment dancing i'll just pick up those that i guess only one refugee fix the gravity machine all right and then dance for this dude. It's nice how they're all cheering for my dancing. Good. 277 AU. That's pretty close. I just need to keep everyone happy at this point. Who's unhappy? Who's unhappy? Not you. Okay. Entertainment. Very good. Toilet. Nobody needs to piss. Nobody? Okay. That's good. Let's fix this. And we'll be right at the space station. Uh, Starka, you need... Okay. Oh! Okay. Apparently, they are in... I guess it is a bug. They got stranded and just floating in outer space. And we've reached five stars. That's great. We're first class. Even though we only have one toilet. Wait, we have one toilet. Ah, so that's why nobody needs to go to the space toilet anymore. We have a toilet. Wow. We have a toilet. Now we need to buy upgrades. What's this? Standard mop and bucket. Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Or standard mop and bucket. I guess it's standard space mop and bucket, but man, that's just way too expensive. And standard seat. Oh, so it's seats, but not a sing, not seats. So it's it's not just a single seat. I guess I'll take this. Improved reactor first. I mean, I don't have a problem with the reactor, I just... I, I need to choose between if I want to use the telephone or the meat cooker. And I want to be able to use both. And it... Uh, hold up, let me check the other stores. What's this? Oh, it's one of those, uh, the slidey thing. You slide and then you land on the pillows. That's fun. Yes. 100%. Next trip will require 100% fuel, I think. Based on all the trips so far. And it's seats. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's a set of six seats. Embark onto our fan final destination. Well, that sounds ominous. Company t difficulty insane. What? 
Well, it hasn't been really that difficult so far. Wait, weather report. What are those? Can you have a safe trip? Guess I'll need it on that on this one. Choose your destination wisely. I have a feeling that this was not a wise decision. Approach asteroid jungle. Oh, so that's what that was. Okay. You need food. You. Okay. What? Oh. Toilet is unpowered. Well, it needs two. Okay. Toilet needs two. I guess I'm glad I got that upgrade. Huh. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of asteroids. Nobody needs anything else. That's good. Oh, that's just a bunch of asteroids here. A thousand more AUs. Wait, we're already at half. I mean, a uh, seventy-five percent fuel. Wow. Is it because I'm using all the energy? Is the power connected to fuel? Not sure. Oh, there is a toilet there. Well, we don't need toilet for now. And then, oh, there is a refueling station next up. I'm going to go there. Because it's... This fuel consumption is worrying me. 600 or more AUs. I'm just going to dock and refuel. Anyone need some dancing? Dance. And you? Any dancing? What? Oh. Cleaner, no. We are in no need of a cleaner. Which one of you? The blue blob. Oh, you're in love. Wow. Asteroid jungle. Another one. Okay. Um, you... There we go. Food. Asteroid jungle. Another one. Wait. Is there a need to clean the toilet? I think there was. Oh. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, asteroid. What is that? Oh, that's the that's the company station. Okay, we're very close. Click, click, and there we have it. Wow, the company station is located in a really precarious place, like in the middle of an asteroid jungle. That's a lot of risk. Okay, hold up, there is. I still don't know what that one is. The the stops on the on the rightmost thing. It looks like a carnival, almost. In the inspection, I didn't encounter any. No parcels either. I guess that's for the full game. All right, next up. This is the logbook. Schedule on time nine, delayed zero. Yeah, I got all of them perfect. Oh, there are passenger types. Though I don't know whether they hold any kind of significance. Maybe one passenger seems to be hungrier than the other. But there are no info about that yet. I don't think. Stop. I've never been to the cleaner. I've been to the refueling station four times. No repairs. I didn't hit any asteroids. Which is good. Yeah, we didn't hit anything. Unlike when I drive a car, but y y yes. Next, congratulations, flight crew, and welcome. You have arrived at our glorious space terminal. The company is proud of you. This concludes this version of the game. Many more destinations, ships, challenges, and adventures will await in the fall game. Farewell, and see you there.
right i guess that's it that's all for the space lines from the far out flight school demo so i enjoyed playing this game it was intense all the time while i was trying to satisfy the passengers needs steering the ship avoiding asteroids and maintaining all the equipment so if you're looking for a nice relaxing game to play this might not be one for you i'm quite interested to see how the multiplayer would work but as you have seen, I don't have anyone to play with. I can only imagine that multiplayer would be somewhat easier because you can assign people for specific tasks. So I would like to see if there's any extra challenge that comes with more people. Maybe something like the passengers are more needy or player collision so we obstruct and trip each other when going around. It would be chaos, sure, but it would be a fun chaos with friends right and i think that's all for today thank you for watching and see you in the next video goodbye